The Indian Army has ordered nearly 2,000 unmanned area vehicles of the various types since the start of the standoff at the Galwan with China in 2020. The Drone Federation of India president said that the multiple manufacturing are competing for the logistic drone bid, according to the Indian news media Swarajya magazine. The demand of these UAVs increased after the Galwan clash and subsequent Operation Snow Leopard in which the Special Frontier Force of India took control of the tactical important heights of the Kailash range overlooking Chinese bases. About 1,500 surveillance UAVs of various types are being produced and procured. These UAVs can keep an area under the constant surveillance for anywhere between 90 minutes to 5 to 6 hours, says a report, according to the Indian news media. They have become necessary to keep an eye out of the activities happening on the Chinese side of the line of actual control. Since the beginning of the standoff along the LAC in 2020, India has significantly increased surveillance along the Himalayan frontier. The improved alertness along the LAC has yielded positive results. It has been reported, according to Indian news media, that the Indian Army knew about the Chinese intention in advance in the latest Yangtze class that took place on 9th December of 2022 in Anachal Pradesh, the state of India, according to the Indian news media Swarajya magazine. These UAVs are a major component of the increased surveillance capabilities. The bulk orders like these are affiliated to the Indian UAV manufacturers. Much of the order book of the UAV manufacturers involves the order given by the armed forces of India. Ideaforge is one such manufacturer. Its switch UAV can take off from heights 15,000 feet and fly up to 19,600 feet altitudes. An order was given to Idea Force by the Army in 2021, and another order of $20 million was given in 2022. Another contract to procure 400 logistic UAVs is also in works. These logistic UAVs are supposed to carry a payload of anywhere between 5 and 40 kg to a range of 5 to 20 km in very challenging conditions to the Indian Army's forward post. Payloads and the distance involved are small, but an Indian Army mule takes 4 to 5 hours to travel the same distance, compared to only 15 to 30 minutes taken by the UAV. Hindustan Analytical Limited of India, a public sector defense company, is also working on a rotatory wing UAV that aims to fly mid of 2023. This UAV can carry a payload of 40 kg, can fly autonomously using artificial intelligence from altitude of 6 km, and can do surveillance mission as well. The analytical development establishment, a DRDO lab, has developed a conventional design medium altitude and long endurance UAV called the TAPAS BH201. Its platform is currently undergoing trials. In a significant boost to the Indian Navy's capabilities, the Navy will get an autonomous armed swarm boat from Saga Defense Engineering Private Limited, which said on the Twitter. The contract was signed as a Sprint Program of India, which is a scheme to promote niche defense technologies with Indian domestic companies. Sprint stands for the supporting Paul Walting in research and development through the innovations for defense excellence. The Naval Innovation and Indigenizations of the Organization and Technology Development Acceleration Cell. The scheme was launched in July of 2022 by the Prime Minister of India. Under the Sprint Scheme of India, the Indian Navy is targeting to ink 100 contracts by the end of 2023 of January and to index artifact technologies by the 15th August this year of 2023. The Swarm Boats contract is 58 such contracts signed by the Indian Navy. The Indian Navy is looking to place another order of 12 systems after the construction of the weaponized boats, said the agreement. The platform is capable of doing high-speed interdictions, low-intensity maritime operations, command control, communication, computer intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. The Saga Defense Engineering, in a statement, said they have know-how to create the nation's first armed autonomous unmanned board with swarming capabilities, according to the Indian news media as well as magazine. So what do you think? Does India's new capabilities of making multi-drones and swarm robot boats make any changes to the Indian Navy and the India-China border surveillance? 
Brahmo's Aerospace made an announcement that would potentially set the tone for India's missile development shortly. Brahmo's is a supersonic cruise missile developed by the Russian Indian joint company Brahmo's Aerospace. The Indian Air Force, Navy, as well as the ground forces uses the Brahmo's missile. India's Brahmo's Aerospace company announced that India would have its first hypersonic missile in five to six years. Brahmo's Aerospace is capable of making hypersonic missiles. In five to six years, we will be able to have our first hypersonic missile by Brahmos, said Atul Rane, the CEO and the MD of Brahmos Aerospace. India's Defense Research and Development Organization, or the DRDO, successfully tested a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle in September of 2020. India has chosen an air breathing scramjet propulsion system, which essentially means that the vehicle requires air from the atmosphere to maintain propulsion. During the HSTDV test, the missile attained a speed of Mach 6 and traveled for just 23 seconds. However, with this indigenously manufactured technology, India joined a select group of countries including the United States, Russia, China, with a technology capable of taking an unpredictable trajectory and eluding interceptor detection. According to the Russian Times had earlier said that this test firing was related to making a Brahmos 2 hypersonic missile model than Russia's Zircon hypersonic missile. Further, reports had earlier indicated India could unable the hypersonic weapon as early as 2025, a timeline which has now been pushed going by the recent announcement. Currently, only Russia and China has an operational hypersonic missile in the world, while the US is still in the processing of developing one. The BrahMos 2 is said to be twice as fast as BrahMos cruise missile, capable of exceeding Mach 6. Even though the missile is projected to have a range of 600 km, experts suggest that the BrahMos 2, similar to Russia's Zircon hypersonic missile, would travel at a speed of Mach 8 and have a range of 1000 km. The aspirational announcement about the hypersonic missile comes when India is aggressively marketing its BrahMos missile to friendly countries. In a debut deal for the BrahMos missile, India secured a $375 million contract from the Philippines to supply three BrahMos ground-based anti-ship missile systems earlier this year. Meanwhile, another cutting-edge technology weapon system from the BrahMos will debut soon. The BrahMos joint venture has begun work on its new, state-of-the-art BrahMos manufacturing center, which would design the develop and produce a highly advanced BrahMos next-generation weapon system. Post your comments below. If you like this video, please give a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is WC Daily. Think big, think different. Bye.